talk about it? About what? Life among the carnies, the death of your father. I mean, either one of those would be enough to mess me up. I don't think I'd know where to start. I just think it's one of those things I just have to figure out by myself. Listen, I'm not going to pretend to know what you're going through right now. But I want you to know that I'm here for you if you need anything. Anything at all. I, uh, have this review lesson thing. I moved it to Babs Hall. I have no idea where that is. East Quad. Clear across campus. Of course it is. Excuse me. Is this he taken? Excuse me, is this Professor Yano's review session? No. Nope. Study group. Ready to brainstorm? What the hell are you doing here? I came to learn. Do you know how much I would love to kill you? Listen. I know you must hate me. You killed my father. Nathan. Seems like a lifetime ago. But I'm a little off my game. You're gonna help me get it back. Says who? Says this. Your face showing up in ink wasn't my choice. It's destiny. Showing me my desire. And you actually thought that I would... Relax. They told me I need a connection. Friend. I don't want to be alone. And somehow you're supposed to help me. I wouldn't help you if my life depended on it. It's not your life you should be concerned about. Gretchen. see her again just as soon as you help me answer my question. Here is what I've been thinking. You and me. We got a lot of common. We're both adopted, abandoned by parents who didn't want us, and raised by parents who didn't understand us. My parents understand me just fine. Stop lying to yourself. Both of our dads we're cold-blooded killers, which is ironic because you and I cannot be killed. I get it. Okay, we have a few arbitrary things in common. What is your point? My point is they're not arbitrary. They're formative. The basic building blocks of our lives. And we have the same blocks, yet here we are, content college co-ed, and me, how do we end up so different? You want to know what the difference is? You're a psychopath. Mystery solved. If you're not going to contribute, I'll just have to take the answers from your head. You're going to slice my head open again? I've evolved way beyond that. Our friend Lydia gave me a much more precise instrument. She could read someone just by touching them. 
see into the very depths of their soul. Of course, her methods were a little hyper-erotic, but... Oh, what the hell? It is college, isn't it? Claire Bennett, you've been holding out on me. What are you talking about? Why I was supposed to find you, you and I are the same. I am nothing like you. You do exactly what I do. You use this gift, this curse, whatever it is, to build walls. Make it impossible to actually connect with another person. Like Gretchen. God, all those memory hits I got from your stuff while I was tying her up have such a different context now. Everything in that room is so full of... What did you say? Pauses, all these moments, so ripe with subtext. Can I borrow your book? Cut my hand with these scissors. All these interactions, and you still can't say the one thing you really want to say to this girl. this up, you might end up alone forever, too. You don't know what you're talking about. I think I do. The indestructible girl who can't put herself out there to get hurt. <laughs> what? No angry retort? You're right, you are off your game. You just told me exactly where she is. <laughs> Gretchen? Gretchen? Are you okay? I'm fine. All things considered. I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I never should have gotten caught up in it. I'm just... I'm happy you're here. And that it's over. It is over, isn't it? No. It's not that...